Yes, my fans, this is your boy Bonnie again coming to have a little talk with you. But as I always said, if it's the first time on the channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Because this is your boy Bonnie. Anyway, what I come to talk to you today about my fans is about a lot of money that I find. But find out what I've done with the money. Yeah, a lot of money I find. But you have to follow me to find out what I have done with the money. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> don't forget, thumbs up. If you like the video and you like the contents, thumbs up. But also, hit that subscribe bell. Subscribe to the channel. Share the channel so other people can see it. And also hit the notification bell. And you don't miss any video that goes up. Okay? Alright. Let's get into the story now. This story goes like this. Well, it's not a story, this one. It's not a story, this one is a true. I was born and grew up in Jamaica. And I run around a lot. And do a lot of different things to survive in life. And one of the things that I've done, for you who live in Jamaica might know about a bus company used to be in Jamaica called Mail Bus. Yeah, they used to run all around Jamaica's Mail Bus in the 50s. And I happen to be one of the person who was working for Mail Bus. And my job was to pick up the load and put on the bus and take them back off. My journey was Kingston to Port Antony. And you have to understand that when you're working on a bus, it's not just picking up the load from ground. And put onto the bus. It intend cleaning the bus as well, and make sure everything is safe and secure. So one day, you know, we we do trips. We leave Kingston, and we drive to Port Antony in the morning, and we park up in Port Antony for the whole day. And then in the evening, we leave back. Or another bus might leave in the evening, park up in Port Antonio all night, and come back in the morning. So, my, Jew, my bus was the day bus. So, I was on this bus called GR6. To be exact, GR6, mail bus, GR6. Running from Port Antonio. From Kingston to Port Antony. Now, when we leave Kingston, the bus drop off and pick up all the way from Kingston to Port Antony. So, people do to drop things in the bus. People do do to last things in the bus, and it's very hard to said who thing belongs to if there is no identity on them so one day we leave Kingston going to Port Antony when we reach Port Antony everybody come off of the bus and I was going through the bus picking up papers and stuff like that I saw a bag on the floor and I picked this bag up and I opened this bag and to my surprise it was a whole heap of money in this bag 
is like money that roll up in the bongo and i couldn't count this money so i never know how much money was in this bag and at that stage nobody see me because i'm picking up paper you know when you, you know imagine you're driving from west street to port antony people is eating in the bus people is doing all type of things so all type of rubbish on the floor so i'm picking up these rubbish because we reach out to our destination now so i put this bag quietly i never tell nobody about this i never tell the driver i never tell the conductress i never tell the other and the man just me alone know about this so at this stage i take this money and i carry it to the front of the bus and i wait until when me alone was in the bus i went into where the driver seat is and over the top there's a thing called destination where you hoping and you change the destination of the bus and i put this money in there so at that stage it's only me alone know about this money so we spend the day in portland go about do all we have to do time come Bus load up and we head off back to Kingston. So, on the way back to Kingston, a lady stopped the bus. And she come to the front of the bus and she asked the driver if they find a bag on the bus. At that stage, nobody knew about this bag. I was at the back of the bus and I hear the conversation. And... I intervene, but at this time I never say I find the bag. I ask what happened, and the lady replied that she lost a bag on the bus. And I said, What type of bag it is? And she said, It's a small little bag like a purse. I said, What in the bag? She said, Money. I said, Money? She said, Yes. I said, What? How much money? She said, I don't know. It is somebody partner money I was taking. I collect for them. And I was carrying the money. I don't know how much money was in the bag. And at that stage, I could see the lady face. I could see the sadness on her face. And I feel my heart move at that stage. And you know something? I couldn't take that money and I turned to the lady and I said to her I find the bag she said you find it I said yes I find the bag and at that stage I could see a release on this lady face and at that stage I walk up to the front of the bus where the driver is I push my hand into the destination and I took out this bag and I said to the lady is this bag and she said yes thank you Jesus thank you at that stage I feel a release knowing that my heart I've set free because I never have to say that I find this money that nobody know that this money was there nobody know I find this money anybody could pick up this money but this poor lady she would have to go through this hard hard shit whatever way it worked out between she and the owner for the money because they probably could have said that she take the money the money never lasts she will lose her life or whatever could happen but I was managed to give back this lady this money. Yes, yeah, she couldn't give me nothing out of the money because it wasn't her money to give. But at the end of the day, my heart was at peace. She was rejoicing because she get back the people their money to give them. 
and we all work out happy so my friends and my family remember subscribe to the channel you know? subscribe share comments and hit the notification bell as i'm telling you this story so basically what i'm saying to you right now my fans let us be honest to one another because your blessing is coming one way or the other your blessing is coming so the more honest we live and deal in life is the more we achieve so it's not what you give it's what you achieve and it's not who you give to can i give back to you your blessing come in many many ways so always do good this is the man of the story right now i'm telling you always do good you do good and good come back to you do good and good come back to you be grateful be thankful and remember that god love you this is your boy bunny peace love joy happiness i bring to you all so i am in and i am out so like share comment subscribe your boy bunny i'm out bless thank you for watching this video your boy bunny